It's Coach Lenny. Coach Lenny. Coach Joe. Coach Joe. Alright. Underhook series. Underhook series. So we went over before I was showing you guys how to club and pull the bicep, but I'm a shorter guy, shorter wrestler. Some guys are a lot taller than me. So I want to show you a different way of getting that underhook and another shot we could get off. Um, because if a guy, I like to get low, I like to protect my legs, hands out in front, but if a guy's taller than me, I don't want to reach up and try to get to his neck. Now I'm out of balance, I'm, I'm off balance. I have no strength there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna find another way to get an underhook and move him around. So one of the ways I, th I found pretty easy against taller guys, or anybody for that matter, is taking my hands, coming on the inside, and getting the wrist. Now, not here, not extended, right? Coach Joe always talks about, keep those doors closed, right? So I can keep my doors closed here too, boom. The reason why I wanna keep my doors closed here is because I'm nice and close. I'm close to him right now, you know? So I wanna close the distance in wrestling and get a shot off. So right when we're wrestling, I see that hand exchange, boom. I'm in close, I got, I got his wrist with both hands. Like, it's kinda like the baseball grip but we're both knuckles around the inside, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna keep his wrist nice and tight, and I'm gonna swing this outside elbow inside his elbow. Now, when I do that, I'm just gonna rotate. I'm gonna bring it in, rotate it. Now, when I rotate it, I keep the wrist. Keep control of this arm. Sometimes when, when guys get into a good position and get in good moves, they let, they let go of things too soon, and good wrestlers have quick reflexes. So I want to hold him there, right? So we're wrestling, we're moving. Boom, I get it. Elbow in, come around. Now I got it nice and tight here, and I'm coming up on that shoulder. And I'm a shooter, so I want to keep my feet moving. I want to stop right here. So when I get to here and here, I'm moving. All right? Once we get to here, there's a lot of moves I can do depending on where his feet are. And if I like sweeps, if I like high crotches. Um, so I'm going to show a knee pull sweep, all right? Cool thing about this one is, you can go either way. So if I'm in here, and I start pulling this shoulder, he's gonna step with that leg, right? So I'm keeping everything, I'm keeping this arm isolated, and I start moving. Once I see that step, this hand stays here, this one lets go of the wrist. The one that lets go of the wrist goes right inside these tendons, right behind the knee. Right there, buckle the knee. That's why they call it a knee pull. It's not a knee grab, it's a knee pull. Okay, get him off balance. And this arm right here is just dropping and sweeping. So a knee pull right to that. Now we can come up with it, we go down, leg laces, whatever you want to do. Um, that's a great setup, great shot. So let's do that again. So here we get inside. Elbow to elbow sweep. I start pulling. Knee pull sweep. Now, you can be the best, fastest shooter in the world, but if your finishes aren't good, then it doesn't matter if you have a fast shot, right? It's no points just to take a shot, you gotta finish. So I like to, right when I get to here, I always pull this up and shelf, always. Whether we're gonna stay down here and scramble, um, or he pops up on his foot, right there, and I, I come up with it, but I, I'm, I'm good and tight, doors are still closed, so we can't kick out. All right, oh, one more time. Wrestling, pull around, pull. Got it, elbow. Pull. Once I get to here, I'm moving my feet. There's the step right there. I let go, knee pull, drop the knee, sweep, shelf it. Nice, quick, easy shot. Distance is close. I want you guys to work on that. One, one, one thing about that pull too, he's closing his door, okay? He's using his back muscles. Very easy for him to knee pull when his back's doing the work for him. Here it gets that foot, that step, and it's just a quick, short pull, door closing. Boom. There's a lot of pressure behind the knee from somebody who's feeling it. That's a strong pull. I want you guys to work on that. Keep training.